Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews. This is my 1400th video. Um, I'm going to do a beer by vocation. I'm going to do one of their new Battle Aid series. These came out in the last couple of days. I think it was Friday last week or may have been Saturday. Um, and I'm going to do their rum and ginger stout. This weighs in at a massive 10.6% ABV. Um, best before on this one. It's the 7th of August 21, so they've given this just over a year. Um, it says on the side, a Richard Indulgent Stout with bold um, bold notes of rum and ginger. This beer is brewed with three specialty malts, oats and muscovado sugar, and then aged in rum barrels for six months with fresh stem ginger. I like all that. I like rum. I like stem ginger. It can only be, really can only be a, a, a great thing, this. Um, allergens, malted barley and oats um, and that's pretty much all we get um, these beers explore the boundaries of battle aging uh, complex flavours complex flavour pro complex flavour profiles created in small batches from our brew our brewery in Hebden Bridge um, best enjoyed slowly there you go, anyway let's pop a top, let's see what we've got the other ones that they've done in this series I've really enjoyed there's been some, there's been some really nice ones actually. Um, there was a coconut one which was quite good. I think there was a coffee one which was which was pretty good. Anyway, let's get in the last and see what we've got. So they released two. There's this one, the rum and ginger, and there's a uh, a chili one, a uh, a mole. Right. So there we go. So beer in a glass. What have we got? I've got the head on that. Jet black beer, no light getting to that at all. There's a little bit of carburation clinging, as you can see. Got rid of most of it. Um, that head was a finger, a very dark tanned head, um, almost well brown head. This is again, that's what we've got left, just under half a finger. It looks delicious. It looks delicious. And I'm getting kind of already from sort of this distance, this distance. I'm getting a hint of ginger and I'm getting booze. Right, so let's go. Let's see what we can smell. Oh, wow, that's lovely. You get the rum, you get, you definitely get the ginger. It smells sweet as well. Vanillary, burnt sugar. Malt. Oh, it smells great. Let's dive straight in. Let's go for the body and carb. Oh. oh, wow. It's thick. It's got a lovely soft carbon. I'm going again. Soft carbonation. Oh, that's just delicious. Absolutely delicious. Right, um, top it up and let's. Yeah, my fridge. And let's. Go for the big old taste. Sweet. Very sweet. There is a nice little ginger beer on the back end. Not getting some, not getting a lot of, well, I'm not getting a lot of the rum. I am getting some of the rum, but not as much as I thought I was going to get. But I definitely get a lot of the sugar. It's creamy, it's vanilla y. Um, the alcohol is super well hidden. I'm getting a little bit, of getting the rum now, the rum's coming through now. I am um, sort of the rum vapors. They did the beer with, the, the, the frappe beer with Amundsen, which was excellent. Um, and this again is another one. It's very similar body. Um, it, it's in, very similar in, in, in body. I am. Um, shut up. Anyway, yeah, but it's very similar in body to the to the to the frappe, thick and creamy. Um, 
like I say, it is sweet. Is it a touch too sweet? I don't know. I think the sugar works well with the rum. That balances all quite nicely. The, the, I said the, the more I'm getting into it, the more the rum's coming to the fore now. The ginger is there. There is a subtle, light gingery tingle on this. I am um, from the stem gin from the stem ginger. It is delicious. It really is delicious. If you don't like sweet beers, then this is not going to be for you. But for me, this is lovely. This is one of these beers, if you're really, really uh, silly, you could pour over ice cream and make a float out of it. it oh, there's, the, there's the rub. Whoa, there's the rub. It kind of hits. This is It's hitting it in, in, in layers. There's a bit of massive sweetness. A little bit of ginger here and there, then the, the rum layer the sort of builds up. Oh, it's delicious. It is really delicious. £6.50 on the website. Is it worth 650? Well, it's a 440 ml can and it's 10.6%. Uh, <sighs> yes, it's worth £6.50. Um, it really is. It's beautiful. It's smooth. Solid, like I say, sweet, creamy, gingery in parts. Rum comes through in parts, but it's all well, well balanced. And there's just this just sweet backbone right throughout. It's great. It's great. Right, I'm gonna wrap this review up because this fridge is doing it. So, vocations rum and ginger stout, ten point six percent from the vocation battle aged series. Do I like it? Yes. Would I buy it again? Yes, I've got one in the cupboard. I am um, just sitting there. Excuse me. Would I recommend to friends? Yes. That ginger is starting to get me now. It's a little bite in the back of my tongue. I've got that ginger fire. Ah, oh, it's a lovely thing. Lovely thing. Um, yes, I would recommend to friends. So if you've had this, let me know what you think. Put the little comment in the comments box below. Give me the thumbs up if you like the video. Give me the thumbs down if you don't subscribe down there. Oh, that's all of it. It's my fingers and everything. It's sticky. Um, I will put a link to the vocation website also below. Um, for you to go and help yourself and buy a few. Because this is really nice. This is possible. This is possibly one of the the best in the range. This will be the fifth or sixth beer. This is really good. So let's see the next one. Hey, yeah.